they advised us that anybody who's up there is going to be arrested, is going to be charged with criminal trespass. Uh, we informed them that we are unarmed, we are non-violent, and we don't intend to be aggressive, but that we have a duty to our people, we have a duty to our land, to the waters, to the sacred sites, and to the sacred beings of this hemisphere and this universe. And for everybody up there who is showing by their sacrifice, by placing their bodies in harm's way, in a corporate state of violent oppression, that's what's happening right now at the confluence of the Cannonball and Missouri Rivers. We have the focal point of the fight for the very soul of our countries and our hemisphere. It's going down right now for a people's right to clean drinking water, to make sure that their families and their children and their posterity have a way of life to derive from the true gifts of the powers of creation. Not only is water sacred, but water is the basis of all economic value the world over. If we don't stand up now, we lose. We lose the fight for the soul of this country. We let Trump tyranny prevail and continue to violate the constitutional rights of everybody to speak freely, to peaceably assemble outside of, of any prescribed free speech zones. We allow them to illegally search seize and surveil every citizen in this country. We have political prisoners like Edward Snowden, Chelsea Manning, Leonard Peltier, Mumia Abu Jamal, people who, who fled Asada Shakur in North Dakota. We have Red Fawn Fallis. We have 600 people who've been brutalized, who've had their rights violated, by Morton County, by the North Dakota National Guard, by the North Dakota governor, by the North Dakota Republican-led legislature, and North Dakota media. We have a collusion to demonize, dehumanize, and continue to expropriate from the original caretakers and owners, superior sovereign title holders in this hemisphere. And this is time that we stand up. It's our turn now. So that's what's happening here today. People are willing to step forward. They're willing to get arrested. They're willing to say no more. Trump is not going to degrade us as human beings the way that him and Steve Bannon are trying to do not only to us, but to the world. They are coming for all of our rights. It's not just the Mexicans, the people who also have an original claim, an original identity in this hemisphere, being declared an illegal human being, having a wall built between them and their families and their loved ones. It's not just the entirety of the peace-loving Muslims in this world who are being discriminated against, who are having their rights violated right now. And you see all over our country, this is our country. This isn't Trump's country. And we're going to have to stand up in peace and dignity to face down our enemy, which is fear, division, and confusion. All of which the corporate state, the mass media, and the government of the United States perpetrates on our populations. But there are people who are woke, who are getting woke, and who are going to stay woke. And we still have warriors among us. And I'm proud and happy and dignified to stand in the light with our brothers and sisters, our two-spirit nation, people who do not fit the demographic that Trump is seeking to protect and elevate, which is the well-capitalized Euro-hetero patriarchy. We do not fit that, so we are on the chopping block. Native nations are facing termination right now. And we have to stand up. We don't have a choice. Our children are looking to us 
to stand up for them. Just the same as Crazy Horse stood up for us. Just the same as Sitting Bull stood up for us. It's time for us to look within and seek that liberation.